All right, everyone, welcome to day 23 of NCR4. So today we are working on um, our sets of numbers and then the big one is operations with sets today. So really working on how do we do the operations with sets? How do we do unions, things like that? And we've got several more vocab words to go today. So as you're going through, I recommend kind of having a, a vocab sheet or something to keep track of everything. All right, so within our numbers, we have various sets of numbers. So instead of having to write out an entire set, since numbers are infinite, we might instead say um, the set S is all the natural numbers or counting numbers. Those are represented by this N. And those are gonna be the ones, like I said, where if you're starting on your hands, you would count one, two, three, four, five, doesn't include zero, doesn't include negatives, it's integers starting with one. It's your counting numbers. These are called natural numbers. Then your whole numbers, they don't have a special symbol. They're all your natural numbers, but now include zero. So when we talk about whole numbers, just no negatives. Then when we look at Z, Z represents integers. Integers are negative, zero, and positive, but they have to be these whole numbers, including the negative side. So whole numbers are a subset of integers. Natural are a subset of whole, which are a subset of integers. So as we go, we're moving through these sets. Q represents rational numbers, which includes integers, whole numbers, and natural numbers. But what rational now is, is that we're gonna include fractions or decimals that can be written as one integer over another as long as we're not trying to divide by zero. Um, so these include numbers that can be written as fractions or when we put them in decimal form, they end or they repeat. So a rational number can be written as one integer over another. And again, they, they uh, repeat or they end if you're in decimal forms. All right, not a subset, kind of breaking off is P, which are your irrational numbers. So effectively, these are numbers that are not rational. So usually what they are is they're decimals that never repeat and never terminate, and they don't have any type of pattern, meaning 1.333 has a pattern. It's four over three, we can write it as a fraction. But if you have the square root of two, you have the square root of three, you know, you have pi or this E number, they're irrational numbers that actually never repeat and they never stop when you try to put them in decimal form. Um, and again, irrational just means they're not rational. All right, Ooh, let me keep going into here. And then all of those are subsets of what we call the real numbers. So real numbers include rational and include irrational but they're, they don't include imaginary numbers. So what an imaginary number is, is the square root of negative two, the square root of negative four, it's your eyes. And those are represented by, this is a symbol we would use a lot, this R. So another way to think about it is if you can put a dot on a number line for it, even if it's estimated, then it's considered rational. So even though pi is estimated, we can put it on the number line. It's about right there. Even the square root of two never ends, it's about right there. Negative numbers are there, fractional numbers are there, whole numbers are there, anything that we can see. Any number that's rational or irrational is a real number and real numbers include natural, whole, integers, all of those. Now, if you were to look at them on a diagram, you have all the reals. Within the reals, you're either irrational or irrational. And then within rational, a subset is integers, then whole, then natural, but notice none of these are within irrational. So that's your real number subset. I like that diagram, I think it kind of, you know, describes it pretty well. So what you'd wanna do is we're gonna figure out, here are our sets, and I kind of reminded you, whole numbers we'll call W. Z is your integers. What sets would the following numbers belong to? And we want to include any of them. So if you're a rational number, you're also an integer, a whole, and a natural. 
sorry, if you're a natural number, you're also a whole integer rational and real, not the other way around. So we really wanna look at what are these included in? So for 25, 25, So 25 is a natural number, it's a whole number, it's an integer, it's rational, it's all of those, um, and, and it's real. So it's on that inner circle of that diagram. So it's in natural, W, Z, Q, and the reals. If I look at seven, or sorry, zero, Zero is not natural, so it's included in whole. All right, then looking at negative 17, it's not whole, but it is Z, Q. So if you notice, we're kind of decreasing each time. Then 12 out of 15 is only rational and real. And square root of two, is just real. So reducing them all, but then I'll also put it in that um, irrational one as well. So working through that diagram. All right, so good practice would be going down here, looking at a few of these. So we're gonna look at what's called a pattern set, meaning this is one, three, five, seven, nine. You can tell that this is starting to be odd numbers. This one is even numbers, this one is, patterns of three, multiples of three. So instead of having to write them all out, we can write this dot, dot, dot. So this one is odd. So 79 is an is a element of A. These are all your evens. So it is an element. These are your multiples of three. 103 is not a multiple of three. So we would say it's not an element. Okay, then getting into set operations. So for set operations, you will wanna watch the second part of the video for that. <laughs> 